Margaret Chapuiteka and her six family members have been at this evacuation camp since early March when Cyclone Ida's flooding waters destroyed their house. But she complains of poor living conditions and the nearby clinic often running out of medicine she needs for her baby. This is not a good place to live. There are no toilets here, there are no mosquito nets here, there is almost nothing here. I wish we were giving some startup materials so that we can return to our homes. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, is improving health care by deploying mobile clinics to flood affected areas. UNICEF says they will meet the health needs of not only children in the cyclone hit areas, but also adults. After the first assessment, we had uh, 7,000 as a target number of under five children to receive our services. So we are planning around that for immunization services, nutrition, screening and everything. But that number likely has, uh, has increased over time and we are actually updating this data to have a, a good uh, view of how many children are affected now. Medical workers say the children here suffer from malaria, diarrhea and malnutrition. While the medical care is appreciated, Malau's flood survivors say they are only able to get food by working for nearby farms. The problem is that we are given relief items which we already have, like plastic buckets, water guard, and tents. But our great need is food. Malawi and UN agencies admit food shortages are a critical problem in the cyclone affected areas. Malawi is seeking additional 25 million US dollars in aid to meet those basic needs. Authorities say they will begin closing the evacuation camps in May. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Machingam, Southern Malawi.